beautiful soul. I hope you are taking care of yourself. We are already in the autumn in the UK. It's been so cold. I felt sick, coughing badly, waking me up in the middle of the night. As usual, he's patient and understanding. Two weeks ago, we had a solar eclipse. The sky was so pink, so pretty. Solar eclipse symbolizes rebirth and a new beginning, breaking free from the past, even throwing away the keys, as I read somewhere. It's a bit dramatic, but what energy! Sometimes we need extraordinary courage to let go of what no longer serves us: a situation, a relationship, an identity. Surrender to the natural cycle of life, don't we? In nature, letting go is effortless. Old leaves fall in the autumn, allowing fresh leaves to grow in the spring. It's the natural flow. In art. Creativity requires surrender and follow the flow. But surrender is hard. The harder you work, the harder it is to surrender. This week, I've been painting a big boutique of flowers in a stone vase, but somehow something didn't feel right. Perhaps I wasn't in my flow. Five versions later, I ran out of watercolor paper. I had to stop to put it aside. With the only piece left. I hand made it into deco edge paper and painted these soft flowers in small sizes. I ended up making a pair and rather liked them. Surrendering and following the flow is a beautiful feminine energy that breathes creativity and spontaneity. When painting, I'm reminding myself to only have a rough image and see where the creation process takes me. Submit and embrace what comes along, so the creation itself is desired, regardless of the outcome. We control because we fear the outcome, failure, and rejection. Surrender opens us to the beauty of the unknown in art and guides us to our heart's desire in life. Elsewhere, something true to my heart's desire. That took so long, unexpectedly come to fruition. I was so happy. I'll share it with you in my next video. Until then, take care of yourself. Enjoy the flow.